it's a little startling actually my son turns 14 next week and uh, it's just uh, how quickly things can change for any family Good evening. We're live in Mississauga, not far from where the body of a 14 year old boy was found by a passerby. Investigators confirming that they're looking at this as a murder investigation. Multiple sources telling City News that the name of the boy is Riley Martin and that he lived in his family home not far from where we're standing right now. And we also know that the neighborhood at this point is simply grappling with how something like this could happen in their own backyard. It's a good area, safe, safe area. It's good. It's usually quiet, you know. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to think of it. Tell you the truth, but it makes me think about moving just a little bit more. A shocking and terrifying discovery this morning after a passerby came across the body of 14-year-old Riley Martin. His body was found on a path leading into Meadow Park. Police confirming tonight that they're investigating this as a homicide and that there were visible signs of trauma to the body. I can only imagine, as I'm sure any parent can only imagine, what it would be like to lose a young person. It's not the way things are meant to be, let alone in these kind of very traumatic circumstances. So I think they're dealing with a lot, and we have to give them some space to try to absorb and deal with this, this very traumatic situation. You have a son who's turning 14. Yeah. Does that make you a little bit nervous to have him out and about here? This, these day and age, you get nervous with everything. <laughs> with uh, I have an older daughter too, and you just never know what's around the corner. And just trying to teach them the right ways to live and uh, uh, at home and in the community, and go from there. Police say the teen left his home yesterday evening, which is only steps away from the park where his body was found. The park also next to two elementary schools, but police say Martin wasn't a student at either school. City News spoke to a teenager who identified the boy as a student of Clarkson Secondary School. While the school has yet to confirm that, they did release a statement today. They said in part, as this is an ongoing police investigation, this is all of the information we can share at this time. Police believe this is an isolated incident and have assured us there are no additional safety precautions needed at our school. They're also providing emotional support services to the school community tomorrow morning. We spoke to a few Clarkson students who say they knew the victim. They say he was kind and friendly and that he really cared about his family and friends. They also say the last words they heard him say was, see you tomorrow. Now, police aren't sharing any more details on any suspects, but they are asking that if anybody has any home video surveillance and they live near the scene, for them to share that with them.